Hey guys, Brick Amigos here, coming at you with another video. So today we got just another look at our Utapau mock, uh, an update I guess. So um, yeah, let's just get started and get into the probably the biggest amount of progress here. Right now we're standing in the, uh, well not the Separatist hangar, but a Separatist hangar that we've made on the planet here. Um, so yeah, this isn't the hangar where Grievous and Obi-Wan fight in the movie. This is just like a secondary type outpost where a Separatist shuttle can land and offload the leaders or whatever and go about its business i don't know so yeah this isn't this isn't the big ha hangar with the droid control ship or anything just a secondary one so no continuity issues there or anything but yeah so um this is pretty simple build just a lot of bricks and plates stacked up most intric intricate detail is in the tiling um we got the grills running through there and what we're also going to do is throw in some kind of like landing lights in there just with like red transparent tiles and then we got a door there that'll technically lead to an elevator and such and go up to a command post right there that we'll look at later but yeah so the separatist shuttle it uh fits in here nicely it's got enough clearance to get through the uh the area there and yeah just very simple build pretty easy nothing to it but yeah we got our grievous there and everything uh, moving on over here you can already see a beginning of a Utapauian building. Uh, this was just something I threw together last night uh, just kind of thinking about what's going to go here. So the plan for this area is just to have the one-story Utapauian building right there and then an extension kind of of the hangar area with the separatist fortification which is uh, this command post type thing right here. So uh, this is a uh, also a pretty simple build but it's got some intricate details on it with the grills on the side this piping um, and then these cool curved uh, bricks on like all the sides we can't see them right now because the position I'm standing but yeah we'll get around to it um, and then yeah we just got the uh, slopes on the roof and then we got a nice curved one here because we got the uh, windows in a nice formation I don't really know what to call it I guess an octagon in total it would be but uh, yeah, there obviously aren't eight windows. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that worked out really nicely. And then let's go around to the other side so we can show it to you more. You can see all the bricks we're using to build this. So yeah, um, in there I just threw in some Neomoidian guys. I guess they're technically new gunnery heads, but I just threw them on different bodies so they could be like separatist officers and such. So yeah, you can see some of the detailing we did there with the grills and the slopes. Uh, and yeah, and these cool pieces that I don't entirely know where they're from or what they do, but uh, they're pretty specialized pieces. So uh, yeah, they got technicals all around them. So I'm going to have to fill in the other sides with like studs or something because you can see through there um, pretty well. So got to cover that up. And then moving along here, I'm actually going to have to go to the other side of the table again. So let's go and we'll start around here. So this is the actually the first like Utapauian structure I built. Um, I was just experimenting with some different things and I remember seeing from Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original, the OG Star Wars Battlefront 2 and uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. So just like thinking about, oh, uh, the buildings usually had like kind of like struts like this and oh yeah, there were tons of lights I remember seeing, but um, so yeah. So I put up a balcony up there where I guess a battle droid could set up a turret, a turret mount and then just be able to, you know, shoot at the clones from there. And yeah, so this worked out really well. I used the brown and the tan colors mostly. And then it's just got some framing up top here to make it more stable and to make the like the top rock part more stable. And so what we've been mostly doing is trying to make the builds, uh, around this 25 brick height limit but uh this one of course didn't really meet the mark it's a lot shorter but we can account for that in other ways it's not going to be a huge problem but yeah want to make mostly everything close to 25 bricks tall because then it'll work perfectly with the ATTE and everything speaking of um, the ATTE it's going to sit roughly in this area here where all the tiles are I didn't bother to put any of the jumpers down with uh, studs on them because this is mostly going to be covered with an ATTE, so we can just like position whatever figures need to be there without the studs and then they should be fine. Uh, moving on here, uh, you may have already seen this a little bit as I was moving around, but we got this bridge structure here. So this is definitely going to cause a problem for the ATTE because it's going to have to uh, 
shoot it down if it wants to progress all the way to the hangar there. But uh, yeah, so this is primarily what my brother wanted it to be. I built it, but he wanted it to be like an energy type collecting source for the Utapauians. I really don't know what to call them, but Utapauians, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we got, uh, he wanted it to be like geothermal energy. So uh, we got a tube leading into the water there. And then up top, I just put some orange bricks to represent lava. He says, no, we're going to change that. But I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. Maybe they're using the lava to produce like some kind of heat energy. And then, yeah, I just threw the clone troopers on top here. Uh, so it's got like the girder, or not girder pieces, but uh, yeah, girder pieces right there. And then the grill plates right there, which look really nice. I love using those two in conjunction and same with those. But I've only got six of those. So, uh, yeah kind of have to use them sparingly but I've used four here so that's too bad um, and yeah so it's pretty long it's uh it's actually tough to make uh, there's a lot of Lego math going on right in this cross section right here um, these two bricks side by side they're actually one by twos with technicals in them so um, the studs from this side and that side just connect into them and then we got a tile right there and blah and we got we had to use the uh, bracket pieces right there. Can use a brick with a stud on the side, or otherwise the math wouldn't have worked out. So yeah, tons of like thinking that had to go into this bridge, but it was a, it was fun to build and it's pretty sturdy. Um, it's pretty close to the height limit too. Just needs a bit more on top, so it'll be a great support for everything that goes on top of here, which uh, we'll eventually get to. But yeah, um, so we got that building, the bridge. And then Matt's working on a, he, he calls it an open air type market place. I don't know, he's, he's kind of dropping the ball on this one because I don't really know what it is and I can't talk about it too much. But uh, yeah, um, he says that it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to take his word for it. But if it isn't, we'll just rebuild it and make it better. Um, so yeah, uh, looking forward to see what he does there. But yeah, I'll just grab the ATTE and then we can show you guys what it looks like in this area right here. So give me one sec. Luckily these sets have like carrying handles. That makes everything easier. So yeah, it is a bit big in the spot, but as you can see, it doesn't have much more room to go. So it can just boo, shoot out the, the bridge. Well, shoot out the bridge and then uh, continue on to its target. But yeah, so it fits really nice in the spot here uh, on the tiles and everything. And yeah, um, so the space is getting actually pretty close to getting to a nice completed stage. Um, like honestly, this level doesn't have too much more work to do. We just got to do tiling, a lot of that, and building buildings. So not too much left, and these didn't take that long. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update on Utapau. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you guys in... Not this week, or the next week, but the week after for another update. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Brick Amigos out.